All right, what's up, everybody? Brunette, everybody that's here. Uh, sorry, it was such short, short notice. I've never met this guy. Um, it was kind of a reference, and I went and checked him out, sent him an email, and so here we are. Uh, this is Tyler Doka. Uh, he's he runs a YouTube channel called. <laughs> I don't even have the. I don't even know what if, unless I have the logo. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Oh, I'll just let him on and he can explain. <laughs> Mr. Doka. I'm hearing two um, two audios. Hang on one sec. That's got to be on your end. Yeah, probably. It. Just give me one sec. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I had your YouTube opened in another um, <clears throat> in another chat. No, you're good, man. Okay. Okay, so I'm Perry, by the way. We we have not met, correct? Everybody that can see, they know. Yeah, we have not met. Um, you just emailed me what an hour and a half ago or so. Yep. And, have you ever heard? Um, you ever heard of me or no? I have not, but that's not to your discredit. I don't watch other people. But oh no, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. And hey, dude, right off the rip, no matter what, I just appreciate you taking the time to come up here. I, I like like we're talking about this. This was really short notice. Um, we both agreed that this is going to be cordial. There's no, I'm not, I'm not here to ruin your day. Well, I'm, I'm not here to ruin your day. I'm not here to upset you. I'm not here to offend you. Um, as I would hope the same in return. And we both agreed that this would be cordial. So if you talk, I talk, whenever you're done, just let me know, whatever it is. Um, my thing was, and, and what I really brought you up before is because I watched um, some of the documentary, right? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Me being me, this is just what it is. I, I I would just like you to read some Bible verses with me, and we discuss them as as we go. Does that sound okay with you? It's fine. Awesome. So, uh, you you call yourself Pastor uh, Pastor Doka? No, I just call me whatever. Tyler. I, I, Tyler. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't really use the uh, the YouTube channel. You now, everybody. I did post the link to his YouTube channel in the description. Um, he boasts a very healthy 68,000 subs, and he appears to get about, I would say, average over 2,000 views per video, which is, you know, congratulations to you, man. I'm a very small channel. I'm a very small channel for a very big reason, but we're very well known. So I'm, I, I was actually kind of surprised that you didn't know who I was off the rip, and it actually works out to your benefit and mine, yeah. I think. So um, going into this, I, I kind of just want to ask you some questions. And get a little background on you, if that's cool. It's cool. All right. So if you don't mind, I'm going to start with, you know, um, probably what most people would not think is the most obvious. But how old are you, man? I am 31. I'll be 32 in like six days. You married? You got kids? Um, I technically am married. I'm in the middle of a divorce, but. Oof. Yeah. Oof. I've been down there. Or being Jesus. So that's why. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. So, well, I'm married. I, I have, I have six. I, have six, well, dude, I've got. I mean, technically, legally, I have ten kids, um, but, uh, you know, I have seven, five that live with me, and one that's every other weekend, and another one that she won't talk to me because of the Bible either. So, and I actually have this. Tell you. I have this. Um, that, it's. I don't even know how to explain this to you, man. We'll get into it, but. Um, so I am married. I'm I'm 37, uh, but I, I you know congratulations, man. You're alive and breathing, and everything's good. So um, my next question would be, how long would you say you've been a believer? Well, that's a kind of like a trick question in a sense, considering I believe that I am Jesus Christ, right? So right. if you mean how long have I believed in? I was going to hold off on that for everybody, but. Yeah, well, you might as well just open with it. That's that's what I found that is the best route. Um, you know, obviously, no one's saying that you believe that, and that's why we're here. Um, but I believed in the Bible for almost ten years now. Okay. I'd say so. Nine, huh? My next question is: Out of all the translations, which one would you? Bet your soul on. 
the King James Bible is 100% the... Uh, King James. So we're going to be King yeah. James only throughout this whole thing, then you're okay with that? Thank you. Appreciate awesome. It. Good deal. So uh, I did not tell anybody. Obviously, I haven't had any time to tell anybody. Yeah. Um, Tyler, Tyler says he's Jesus. I'm not going to go into too much on that. Later on, I'm sure he'll get into it a little bit. But if you don't mind, Tyler, I would kind of like to go through a little bit of my end first. Yeah, but it's it's the same thing. Sure. It's you. I, I I'm feeding. I just want to feed you verses and get your your feedback on it. Um, but I did still have a couple more questions for you, man. And and of again, course. seriously, thank you for taking the time to do this. Um, Glad to do it. So I, I've got to ask you. You were a part of a church, right? I ran a church. Yeah. You ran a church. Okay. And what happened with that? Well, it's still technically my church. It's just um, so I had a physical church, right? So. What I'm all about is the spiritual to the physical, right? Or physical becoming the spiritual. So I had a physical church starting in 2018. So if you read the Bible and you notice that um, the Bible says that the Lord's Passover is the first month on the 14th day of the month, right? That's right, the so day. You're going, by a, you're going by a Hebrew calendar and Hebrew. No, I'm going by my calendar. So um, the thing is, we'll get into this, but everything that you see in the bible like the word hebrew the word jew the the location of egypt the location of assyria everyone believes that's a physical concept but they're all spiritual concepts and that's evident from the book of revelation it even says um where also our lord was crucified which spiritually is called sodom and egypt right um, right but there's reasons so, for that but where was he physically crucified well, so, so let me just, I'm sorry, let me just finish this one point and then we can, I'll answer whatever question you have. Um, okay. So uh, if I am who I say I am, then the first month on the 14th day of the month would be according to whatever calendar I'm using. It doesn't matter where you think the calendar came from. If you think it's Gregorian or whatever, it's irrelevant. What, what's relevant is if I am who I say I am, then all the dates in the Bible are relevant to my calendar, whatever calendar I'm using. Right. So well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that, that everything in the Bible from what you're claiming everything in the bible would then be about you right exactly so that when the bible says on the first month on the 14th day of the month is the lord's passover that's actually the date i started my church um that was the day of our first service that was you know as ordained and then on the 10th day was the day of my last preaching at my previous church that's why it says to present the lamb on the 10th day and then um three and then on the 14th day which is th three days and, and an extra night is when you have the Passover, the 14th day. Um, but yeah, so I had a physical church for three and a half years. And then once I figured out who I was, um, it just exclusively became an online ministry, no more physical church building, like the way you would view uh, the temple, right? No more physical temple it became just a spiritual church okay so again just to be sure right we both believe that the bible is the word of god you're going to go by the bible whatever the bible mm -hmm. says that's what you're going to go by yep. right because you say that the everything in the bible is about you okay which we're gonna have some fun um i would like to ask one more question tyler can you can you do me one thing can you can you promise me that you'll finish this with me yeah like the, okay. the live show yeah yeah okay cool so so my first question is going to be, um, have you ever sinned? Yeah, but okay. If we're going to get into that, it depends what your concept of sin is. Because to biblically define sin, right? And the Bible says whatsoever is not of faith is sin, right? The Bible also s says whenever describing sin, if I believe that the entire Bible is a spiritual account, right? Not physical. Then all the physical commandments that men come up with would be the commandments of men. So, but what about the commandments of God? The commandments of God would be spiritual commandments, right? So the, what I try and do when I try and explain this to people is the concept of separating the physical from the spiritual. So adultery in the Bible is to find another God, right? Is to stop your marriage to me, right? And go to marry another, right? You, you understand that the church is the wife and the Lord. So if somebody sins they're cheating on God. Yeah, but 
the concept yes. of sin is what that I'm explaining is unbelief. Well, but there's three different concepts to sin according to the Bible. The one that you quoted, which is Romans chapter, hang on, I know it, and it's like one of my favorite chapters, uh, Romans 14, verse 23, right? Romans 14, 23, where he says that um, whatever is not a faith is, is sin. So that's, that's the one you quoted, but there's two others. There's 1 John 3, 4, which says whoever transgresses the law, right. that is sin. And then James chapter 4, verse 17, which says whoever knows to do the right thing and, and doesn't do it, to him it is sin. Right. So all three of those concepts are very, very valid. So oh, for yeah, you I, to I totally be agree. Jesus, to, for you to be Jesus, you would have to physically keep that law. Correct. Right. So have you done so, that? Yeah, but again, when I say that, people don't even understand what the law is. Right. The Bible Can I ask you a question? And, yeah, what yeah. is your shirt made out of? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's a physical commandment. Right. The Bible says yeah, Jesus in 7, kept the physical commandments because we can't. The Bible says, for we know that the law is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. if, if the spirit is the unseen realm, then the physical commandments are not what the Bible's talking about. But somebody had to fulfill them. Correct. Which I did. What, what does the Bible say but, that was my sacrifice, right? What is I, the fulfilling of the law? It's to but love. But I want right? to ask you, love have fulfilled. you ever sinned? According to your commandments, yes. No, in your life, have you ever asked God to forgive you? Yes, 100%. Okay, so according to the Bible, but, Jesus yeah. never sinned. So now you've failed that already. The Bible says that I am without sin, right? No, but you're and not without sin because sin. you have asked for forgiveness in the past because you thought you sinned because you did sin. But thought, you, Tyler, you're very okay, close. I'm not to cut you off. I'm not trying to. You're closer to the truth than you think. But you have sinned, you just said you have, so you're not Jesus. No, I said, according to your definition of sin, yes. Well, according to the Bible, you're in the middle of a divorce. That, that's what I'm trying to explain, right. is that my view of the Bible is all spiritual, and your view of the Bible is all physical. Okay. So, so that's why the Bible says in the Old Testament that people are saying, that they are holier than thou, right? Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Because the satisfying of the law is what the Bible says it is. Love Which is, what? is the fulfilling of the law. And greater if love hath no law. man than greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. The Bible itself is a spiritual record. It's your spiritual blood, right? Everyone believes that they Can you covered. show me the verses for that? For for what specific? For everything that you're saying, because I've never read those Bible verses. Okay, so love is the fulfilling of the law. You know that, right? Um, I'll, I'll link you the verse. Um, Romans thirteen ten. As well as. James 2, 8, and Galatians 5, 14. Okay. Uh, Galatians so, 5, 14 says, For the law, law is fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And right. James 2, 8, If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You right, but well. now do you see two verses down on James 2, 8 to go to 2, 10? Where he says, if you break one law, you're guilty of all. Right. Right. And then see how previously in the past you've asked for forgiveness for breaking that law? Again, when I'm, I was under that same, as the Bible no, no, says. No. You're just okay. not Jesus. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I have no problem having a conversation, but if you're going to make conclusions in the middle of, of my sentences, that's not a conversation. I understand if you don't believe, that's totally fine. I'm not condemning you for that. In okay, 
in my words. You're just asking me questions, not letting me finish, and then just saying I'm not Jesus, which but I'm fine with. I understand. You, you don't said believe. that you've sinned. Jesus did no sin. Again, I'm explaining that under the commandments of men, just as you read in the in the Gospels, right, where people are saying that, uh, they, they're calling me a sinner, right? The the Bible says, you know, we you know Moses, we don't know this. one. No, I specifically said before you asked that question, according to what you believe sin is, I have broken the commandments of men, just like you see in the Bible. Where I'm the talking about are, the commandments of God. And I'm telling you the commandments of God are spiritual. But what about when you lie? Yes, that, that is, is a sp that is spiritual. One hundred percent. Yeah, because right. it comes from the heart. Right. Right. But the so, okay, go ahead. If you tell a lie, then you're still breaking that law. Agree. I have sinned in the past, but that's okay. what I'm talking about. Jesus I'm born knew of the no spirit. sin. Right. I knew. okay. So the the right. what I need but to explain. You know sin because you sinned. There's no way to have have a conversation if you don't let the other person speak. You agreed that the Bible is the Word of God, right? 100%. Okay. Can you please, let's just go by the verse. Can you please read verse 21? He hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin. Mm -hmm. He knew no sin. Right. Right. And I'm explaining you know to you. Okay. Okay. Tyler, you're gonna have to. The face Bible it says now. no. It's 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 not that I don't want to face it. It's that when I try and explain the concept, you cut me off and say I'm not Jesus. I have no problem explaining why I believe what I believe. If you give okay. me one second, I'll explain it. What does the Bible say? I appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Right. Okay, but you just said you sinned, so you're not without sin. No, no, no. What I'm trying to explain is the Bible says I appear the second time without sin unto salvation. The sacrifice that I provide, right, the, the way I fulfill the law is through the Spirit, by loving my friends, my neighbors, as myself, and laying down my life for them, right? I'm the only one that's persecuted for my Father's name right? The sin that the Bible's talking about, that I am without, is lack of faith. I have never one time in my entire spiritual life backed down to any spiritual circumstance, whatever it may be. When the whole new IFB came after me, when people, you know, I encounter people like yourself all the time, obviously, you're your own person. I don't mean to group you into anything. What, I'm, what the Bible is speaking about is that I'm fulfilling the law through faith. The Bible says that the law makes no man perfect. Do you believe that the Bible says that yeah, Jesus is a man? Yeah, but the bringing in of a better hope did. I'm actually perfect. Right, the better the better hope. What is What makes you perfect? Your faith, right? You believe right. that your faith Made is me perfect. what makes yeah. you perfect. Yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm, yeah, because Jesus died for my sins. Exactly. Right, but you're That's not dead. And so you're not Jesus. Okay, but the, the the death is a spiritual death. No, it he is was not physically crucified. We're, you're assuming that. No, that's the truth. Your okay, entire calendar you is based verse. on him. No, no, no. Can you read these two real quick for me? <clears throat> right. Please. For, I can, everyone, for even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow in his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who I did no sin. It. Exactly. But you said was never without faith. Yes. What I'm trying to explain right. to you. So you're not is, Jesus. According to the Bible, you're not Jesus. Okay, you don't have to believe. What I'm trying to explain to you is that the physical But sin, why do you believe in this delusion of yours? It is Wouldn't not you rather a, have the truth? Okay. 68,000 no, people is a lot of blood on your hands, man. That would be fine if what I was saying was not biblically accurate. It's Everything not. I Jesus believe, did no sin. Just you said you, you say, sin. I, 
I am just because I'm explaining this concept to you and you're not it's not according it, to the make Bible it untrue. Right. But you, we you talked about this. this. You said the Bible is the word of God and that you go Correct. by the Bible. The yeah. Bible says Jesus did no sin. You right. said you sin. Do you see the problem? You're not understanding the concept of what it means to fulfill no, the law. You're adding to, not to his sin. word. You're not understanding that because you still sin, you're just not saved. So Calling when, yourself Jesus doesn't make you Jesus. So when the Bible says that you have no sin, right? Do you want your wife back? No. When the Bible says that you have no sin, right? You personally. It doesn't say that. Everybody's born in sin, including you. No. The Bible That's why says you were that a sinner. When you, when you believe that you have no sin, right? No, I was washed from my sin by the blood of Jesus. I was made perfect. I am saved, sir. And you I, don't know I, my I'm position yet. I am actually saved, like 1,000%. I can't sin. All things are reconciled. I wake up perfect. I go to bed perfect. My life is perfect. I'm actually saved. I literally memorized this entire book. I spend every waking moment of my life in this book for the last four years because of what I have. And you're just spitting on it. This you is either not want really the going. truth, you either want the truth, or you're going to serve sin for the rest of your life. I'm going to keep doing exactly what I'm doing. And you're serving sin every time you sin. You're not understanding the concept of no, sin. No, dude, the next time you sin, you prove you serve sin. Jesus said The next said time sin. you sin, you just, you, you're contradicting I yourself. I can't sin. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. You're sin, contradicting yourself. You're saying you can't sin because you have faith. And then yeah. I'm explaining to you that I fulfilled that by having faith. Before no, you were never anyone. crucified. You didn't fulfill anything. Okay. You haven't been spiritually crucified. You still sin. <laughs> you're just, you're not. No, you're not. Grasping the concept Dude, at you're all. gonna have to let go, man. You're gonna have to trade it all, or you're gonna die a sinner, and you're gonna go to hell. Okay, whatever you say. Honestly, you want to do a Bible study? No, I don't. I, you afraid of it? We were speak no, it's what I'm trying to explain. What I explained in our emails before we started this conversation was if we're going to be cordial about the conversation, I have no problem with having it. I also said if we don't agree on a point with one another, I'm not going to go back and forth on it. And I said if you start interrupting me and talking over me like everyone does when they just want to assert their dominance, they it does not make it more spiritually accurate. But you're lying. See, that's what I'm saying. It's just, you're just saying. You want me it. to let you lie on my channel, and that's hard for me. I'm okay with it. You asked me to the channel. I know. And I, I clearly and you laid told out me the that the Bible is the truth, and now you're saying yeah. it's not. We just are not, there's no, there's never going to be a point in this interview where something is going to line up or agree. I have no I know problem. because like I, you don't line up. That's the problem. And I'm like trying to I, show you so I can help you. You're not going to help me. Nothing's going to, as the Bible says, if we believe not yet, he abide a faithful, he can't deny himself. Oh, he's not going to de deny himself, but you sure that you sure can deny him. And you are denying him. You're trying to take his glory. What is wrong with you? Why do you believe that Jesus came 2,000 years ago? To die Why? for sin. Okay, but when the Bible says I appear And now once, it's funny because you just admitted that he came 2,000 years ago. So you're no, not him. I said, why do you believe that Jesus came 2,000 years ago? Because everything in history points to it, including yes, the Gregorian man, calendar. Man-written history, right? Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You base your I'm sure beliefs off 15 man. billion people aren't going to be wrong, dude. Okay. <laughs> That's what the <laughs> Bible clearly says that everyone is deceived, you, right? Can you do me a favor? Can you read world? me this verse? I'm just curious. How, you, how about you read Hebrews 9 and then we'll just we'll go from there. Hebrews 9 verse 6. I, I is, gladly will. And Hebrews 9 7 too is beautiful, but can you show can you read me this verse here? This verse that Jesus warned about? This verse is only relevant to the Jesus you believe in. How oh. many people have come in my name saying they're Christ? Hang on. Many. Obviously, you believe in one, right? So you're a different Jesus, is what you're saying. 
of course, that's what the Bible says. If someone come unto you and preach another Jesus, right? The Bible that's you. indicates that there right. are people who claim to be Jesus, right? That's right. Just a so, it, and concept. the Bible says to stay away from those people who cannot prove it through spirit. And you're not. I prove everything I no, believe from the Word of God. You're not proving anything. You're proving that you're a liar. Okay, man. What does the Bible say in Hebrews? Not. I'm sorry. Wrong okay. verse. You said Hebrews nine six. Sorry. I'm not. I'm. I told you. I'm. I'm all for a cordial conversation. But this I mean, if you, definitely not that. I'm sorry. Nine it is. Six, not six. It is, and I don't judge you. I want you to. I want you to understand that I don't you judge just, you. I don't. You just said that you're going to hell. You need to remember. Yeah, those, that's, that's righteous what, judgment. That is righteous judgment. So you still do saying judge. You're, you're going I'm, to hell. No, I don't I, judge you for what you do. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you're gay, straight. I don't care if you smoke, drink. I don't care if you jerk off. I don't care what you do. Jesus fulfilled the law. You're not under it. You just think you are. You're not. He broke those chains for you. You're not him. You sinned. You've been sinning your entire life. Just Hebrews he made 9, a way. Twenty six, real quick. Hebrews nine twenty six. Yeah, if you don't mind. Can we read a little bit up and down of it? Are you cool with that? Just start here, if you don't mind, uh, just so you can answer this just this real quick. <clears throat> okay. What, is the, what does it say? For then must he often have suffered since the world, since the foundation of the world, but now. Once in the end of the world hath he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. Yeah, he was crucified 2,000 years ago. He put away sin. Sin doesn't exist. No, no. Yes. In the end of the world. Right. That is. So that was is, the beginning of it. Yeah. That's the end of the world to you? No, that was the beginning of it. What? 2,000 years ago, that was the beginning of it. Jesus coming and doing what the he beginning did was of the, the first end? sign. Yeah. The, so you would consider 2,000 years to be last days yes that's, yeah that's just inaccurate no it's not it's that's why jesus says to the pharisees the world. that's why jesus told the pharisees uh this the wicked and perverse days. generation he said this generation right. shall not pass right you know, exactly this right. generation the one that he, right. i'm and part i agree of, right this generation i agree this generation yep but so you would have to what you're admitting is that jesus has to be part of your generation right well, it's all it has one to be big generation. To it's 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 the after Christ. It's, That's you know how the the calendars sense. brought. You know how the calendar split before Christ and Anno Domini, which means the year of our Lord, and how it split. Yes, it split for a reason because this is the last generation. So a generation is just any length of time that you say, whatever it is. Two thousand years is one generation. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, like I have nothing to say to that. Right. But the whole thing is, is you see where it says he put away sin by the sacrifice of himself? When are you going to get crucified? It's already done. Where does it happen? In the place of a skull? Do you no, know it where has heaven to, is yeah, located? Yeah. No, 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 no. You're, it's supposed to be in Jerusalem like it was for him, you know, Spiritual where his tomb Jerusalem. is. Did you know his tomb is still there? Empty? I don't believe in man's history. I oh. don't believe in anything man says. I so you just write off everything. So you just ignore yes. every every, every word man written in the liar. Bible. Every man Every a liar. word written in the Bible. Every bit of history. Every bit of everything. You just say, forget all, all that. Of you're just gonna history. Yes. Oh, well, you're just well, you're just well. Then you're fluffing off the Bible too. No, I'm not. Well, weren't men the ones that penned it? I understand it's God's word. God wrote it through those men, but did they not pen it? Um, I have a completely different belief on that subject. So, but I don't believe in a man's. I don't believe in man's timeline. Like I don't believe in two thousand years of time that we have all been around. I don't know what Christians believe. So, Some do you think God Christians, was lying when He said, "I give you the stars and for signs and seasons"? No, of course that's right. You use that for oh. days and years, right? I 100% agree with that. I'm saying the timeline that you are given, that man is given, is given to you by man, right? They say the earth is whatever billion amount of years old. Most Christians believe the earth is 6,000 something years old, right? But all of those depictions are merely from the account of man. Can I ask you a personal question? Are you on any psychoactive meds? I don't know what that means. 
psychoactive, like anything for my brain? Yeah, like mental health. Nothing for, like, you mean like depression like, medication or something? No, like, like that? schizophrenia type of. No, but no. of course I've been called delusional and schizophrenic. I I'm understand. not calling you delusional. We're we're having a a a man on man conversation. I'm I'm happy with the conversation actually. Um, my thing is, can you read me this verse on the screen? If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and right. his word is not in us. So, have you ever sinned? The thing with us having this conversation is you're reading it from the perspective of your Jesus, and I read it from the perspective of me. No, I'm reading it from the perspective of God wrote this book. Those are his words. That's what God said. That's what goes. Agreed. If you go against that, then you're going against God. I'm not. If, that makes you an if, antichrist. Uh, whatever you say. But what I'm telling you it's is true. that if you believe in a Jesus, and then let's say someone else believes in a different Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. Then they're well, going to say the same both thing. Going right, but There's only one they're, truth. They're going to say the same thing that you're saying. They're going to say that your Jesus is incorrect, right? I'm not saying but someone I, who believes I, in me. I'm saying who's but I, I'm not making up a Jesus. I'm going by God's word. No, you're going by man's word. Oh, you're so saying that man God didn't told write you this? Jesus. No, God told you Jesus comes at the end of time. That's me. Appeared no. at the end of the world, the last days. But you're have you going ever by sinned? Man's account. But have you ever sinned? Not in faith. That's the description. But of you, the so Bible. you have That's the sinned, right? Account. Right, so you have sinned, and Jesus did no sin, so now you're lying. That's that's why I said we're when if we don't agree and we go back and forth two times, we should just drop it and move on because all we're doing but is reiterating the same thing. You're a point. grown man. You know the verse says what it says. And I you're agree. You're lying with it. going against it. Jesus it says Jesus did no sin. Right. You said you sinned. And I keep explaining to you, so your you concept can't of sin be Jesus. is not it's my not possible. Okay, under your concept, just like as you read no, in all the Gospels. No, by going by the Bible. That's what everyone says in the Bible too, right? We know Moses, this man, we know not where he is from. This, this is all the same things that you read about. He hath a devil, he's mad. All these things that you read about are occurring in front of everyone's face, and it is what it is. <clears throat> Oh, man. Tyler, what if you're wrong? If I believed it on a whim or heard a voice or something crazy, then I would fear. But I prove every single thing I do. You're not That's answering. Why I have an what happens out. if you're wrong? I, what I'm, I'm trying to answer, but you don't allow me to. I'm saying it's impossible to be wrong about something you can prove diligently so but you can't prove it that's just your concept obviously no, there are people who believe you literally and just you're just saying you they're sinned. wrong and jesus never sinned i again this is not going anywhere i explain in depth all of my teachings everything i believe in that documentary what that you clearly said you didn't wrong. watch what if you're wrong I could ask you the same exact question. I'm I, the Bible's not wrong though. So exactly, wrong. I, I have the same answer as you. Do you I see only why go this by is the unproductive? Bible. I only I go understand. by the Bible. Do you see why this okay. is unproductive, Tyler? Do you go by the Bible? Obviously. Okay, and the Bible says Jesus did no sin. Exactly. So, have you ever sinned, man? This is why I don't do these types of interviews because. People just, if they don't grasp a concept and I say, hey, I'll be here and You're and not I'll trying answer. to sell me a concept. You're trying to sell me a lie. And I don't appreciate it. Okay. I have so, nothing to say because I, there I'm is sure, I'm no sure. answering a question I've already answered. You're, I, I don't know if you're not. I know you don't accept my answer, which I'm fine with. You don't have to believe in me. But what I'm saying is we're not getting any further. By continuing you, the same question. Okay. So we both can don't agree I, can on Can I ask right? you an honest question? You, you, every question you ask has been a honest question in your eyes, right? So you don't need to continue to go down that road. Okay. Can, will you read another verse for me? I honestly, 
I don't think this is productive. Everything that I said not to do, you have done. Oh, so, now you're getting scared. Okay. Um, there's no, I don't, you can call it whatever you would like. Whatever makes you happy. I clearly stated in the emails before we started this, if I'm going to be talking and you're going to interrupt me just to say your point or tell me I'm wrong or whatever, that is not a cordial conversation. If we're going to talk about the same subject a hundred times over because we don't agree, that is not what I want to do. If we're just here so you can put me on blast, not something I desire to do. I could talk to anybody, anybody I'm... just like you to have the same exact conversation and the same exact answers. But you told me something and you did not do it. So I've been yeah, extremely sure. re no, you, you said you wouldn't interrupt me every time I speak. You're before I even finish a verse that I'm quoting, you're interrupting me. You also said that it wouldn't, if we didn't agree after two rebuttals back and forth, then we would stop it. Hasn't happened one time. You also said that you wouldn't be, you would be cordial about this saying directly to me, you can say you don't agree, but saying you're a liar, going to hell, you're going to die. Am I saying that to you? It doesn't mean that I don't believe it. I'm saying I'm trying to be. That's cordial. what Jesus came here and told everybody is that if and they I sin, say that to everyone, oh. but when I did this in interview with you, what I said was, if we're going to just be rebuking each other, that is not the purpose of what we should be doing. So if you, you say that me, to everybody, but I can't say it to you. Isn't no, that kind I didn't of say hypocrite? you can't say it. You can say it to whoever you want. I said, oh. if we're going to have an interview and your objective is to put me on blast and say I'm Satan, say, say I'm a liar, say I'm an antichrist, right? That is not going to be a productive conversation for either. Of for us. you. You can just say that. No, you can just make your own video and say that. Having me on here does not help anything because we just simply don't but agree. My views should... are all over my YouTube and your views are all over right. yours. But you're su here. Okay. I haven't actually interrupted you every time you've talked, by the way. I'm a little offended that you would say that about me. I think I've been very cordial. And if you knew me, you would know that I am very cordial. The things that are coming out of your mouth do not line up with the Bible at all. And you it's like you want me to not say something about that. But in reality, I mean, you, it's I, like you wanna want to just live in a bubble. Say, and you can you, say you anything you want. don't want to be accountable. No, I but, just don't argue with people. That's why everyone wonders when I hold my peace and I don't say anything. Because I could argue with every single person in the whole world all day, but it's not productive. But I'm the Bible says contend thing. for your faith. It also says rebuke them that sin sharply. It says rebuke them in front of all so that others may fear. It in is very clear that you're church, to not contend out on the for street. your faith. No, it's anywhere I go. I'm supposed to be ready no. in season and out of season. No, it's yeah. he's talking to Timothy in the church. He says, "How you, so you know how to behave yourself in the house of God. No, no, to be ready in season and out of season to contend for the faith. In the house of right. God. Because if you're preaching the truth, you should be able to defend it perfectly. Yes, but, but it doesn't mean that you people don't will want believe, to have right? to defend it. You just Bible's... want to preach. Can I finish? No. You just want to preach the lies and you don't want anybody to put them in front of your face and show them to you. But I'm That's, not trying to do that. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to exploit this. I'm not trying to which, whatever it was you called it. I'm not trying to do that. I genuinely want to help you. I genuinely want to go through a, a solid, serious Bible study with you. But in order, I mean, can you just read me this one verse right here? We've been doing this this whole time. Right. Just please read the verse. This is you love the Bible. Productive. It's very productive. It is not. Oh, not okay. for you because you're being forced to see something you don't want to see. But just because you don't want to see it doesn't mean it's not true. The Do Bible does say that Jesus first... did no sin. Do you think that you're the first person to show me any of these verses in rebuttal to what I'm saying? You're I'm the 10,000th but... person. Well, then I, how come you don't, don't listen do to this? anybody? Why, I have why are every that, answer to this in a know, single documentary. One. You don't. Okay, okay. I watch the documentary. You don't have any answers to why the Bible says if you sin, you've never known Jesus. Okay. So you don't have you any. You don't even talk about sin on your channel at all. All right. This I the whole almost like a ten minute or fifteen minute portion of a one hour documentary is about sin specifically. Right. So if you sin, you you're not. Watch it. You're of the devil. The Bible says it. Okay. 
but can you read this one Sorry, verse? This right didn't here? go how you planned. I'm not. Oh, it went perfect. This doing... went perfectly. It went exactly how I thought it would. You oh, well, are. If you, if you thought this is how it went, then you were not clear in your email about what you wanted this conversation to be, because this is exactly what I, what we both discussed and said that this shouldn't go like. So if this is what you thought, then I think I'm it glad great. it went as you as you I think desired. It went great. And when you're done, when you want to give up sin, when you want to be free from sin, you'll come see me. But can you please read okay. this one verse? No, I'm done here. This is. Can I read it to the you then? Can opposite. I read it to you? It says to the Goodbye. law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. There you go, guys. There you go. That's that's how that's how these motherfuckers will do you. They want to feed you lies over and over and over and over and over, and they don't want you to question them. The minute you question them, the minute you show them their reflection, this is what they do. They run. They can't contend for their faith. They can't provide a, a single Bible verse that actually backs him up. Not one. I... He's got 68,000 subscribers, over 2,000 views per video. Every one of them people, he's leading them straight to hell. It's fucked up. That's fucked up. When they don't line up with the Bible, it's because there's no light in them. If they sin, they are of the devil. Period. He doesn't want to face that. I have a feeling that divorce is a, for a lot more than just him calling himself Jesus. So, with that being said, um, we will be back here at 10.15, I think, right? 10.15 my time. It's 11.15 his time. So, we'll be back here for that. Um, that's going to be an awesome show. That's going to be an absolutely awesome show. It's somebody that has spent the last nine months grinding it out. Who's been through, he's been through enough hell with us. He's seen enough. He's witnessed to enough. He's witnessed to the truth. Um, and I'm very excited to have him back on here. So we're going to do that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, I want to say I had fun, but I don't really have fun. Like I really want to genuinely help this dude. There's, there's real freedom from sin. There's real salvation. I mean, that guy needs, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. But, I mean, fuck. And he takes money from people too, guaranteed. Fucking guaranteed. Oh, it makes me sick. Absolutely makes me sick. But that's what it is. You heard him say he sins. That's it. If you still sin, then you're just like him. If you still sin, you're just like him. All the sinners are the same. None of them want to go by the book. None of them want to go by the Bible. None of them want to actually line up with the Bible. All they want to do is do it their way. That's it. Judgmental, hypocrite, sinners. That dude. Something else. That's something else. <laughs> I almost thought he was kidding when he said he thought he was Jesus. Right, And I thought he was going to have some better explanation because I did watch the stupid little documentary that he had. And I, you know, just nothing made sense. It was like one big run-on, long, garbage gargantuan that just kept with his concepts and his own theories and trying to twist the Bible into his fucking theories. It's just some of the most fucked up shit I've seen out of somebody. And... The disdain that I had for the amount of lies being fed to his audience makes me sick. Whoever sins is of the devil. I love y'all. I will see you guys at 1015. That's going to be an awesome show. Um, but on, on, a, on a believer side of things. Oh, my God. Thank you all for coming. That was, that was interesting. Enjoy, enjoy your evening. <laughs>